What's going on? It's your ADHD, immature council house yam yam patchy, and I'm in Scott's blocks, which, and we're doing a mukbang. So, with all that being said, let's get into the video. Look at these chickens. First thing I'm going to try. But that's a good start to the video, that's a strong start. I give that a strong eight. If you like cheese, they bang, they hit different. So these are the little triangle, I believe they're cheese as well. Mm. These are very cheesy. I'll give them, I could be biased now, because they're a bit too cheesy for me. But they might be alright for you. Very soft and fluffy, all on the inside. I'll give it a 7.5, even though fish cakes aren't for me, it is a strong fish cake. We've got some type of triangle. I knew it was cheese and onion, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what that's strong that is? I thought that was going to be fish, that shocked me, Nana. We got a seven, we got a seven, that was alright. Now we're on to the chicken. Oh, I like my southern fried chicken, I do like it, and I have had it quite a lot from different chip shops over the years. So, we'll try the leg first. If you like southern fried chicken, they're doing it right here. Mm. The chicken, falling off the bone nicely when you bite it, do you know what I mean? Right, let's try the breast piece. Mm, that's hot. The skin's got good flavouring as well. So whatever he's put on it, that's nice that is. That's a strong 8.5 of that chicken. The chicken's juicy as well, like it's not dry, even when you bite it. Next on the list, we've got this hash brown. Even the hash brown does bits. That is a strong hash brown. I'm going to say that a lot this video. If something's strong, it's strong. That's nice, man. Been hitting gym, look at it. Benching 50kg. <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> I chat so much shit. 8.5 on the hash brown, 100%. These chicken tenders, these little chicken strips, that's another 8.5. You don't understand how much food I've got. Should we try some of the sauces? Yeah, we'll try some of the sauces now. Let's switch it up a bit. Let's try some chippies and let's get some sauce on the goo. Thank you. So here we have a range of all the sauces that do. We've got some chips here that I've got some type of seasoning on. These are obviously your normal battered chips. Oh wow, that's peri salt. Mm. Okay, that hits. I couldn't eat a whole bowl of them with the perisort and I couldn't eat too many of them. I'll give this perisort a 7.5 because it's different to like Nando's perisort, if that makes sense. Like it's, I've never had perisort that tastes like that, so that's that's nice. And the spiciness, it doesn't linger in your mouth. Let's try the chippies with the sauce. Obviously this is going to be the curry sauce. Mm. And the curry sauce, it does bits. It's good curry sauce, it's a 9, it's an easy 9. Let's try the gravy. I'm not really a gravy fan with chips. We're not gonna think about personal opinions, we're gonna think of the wider range of audience that like gravy and chips. If you like gravy and chips, yeah, you're a weirdo. You know how many northerners I've just offended them? That is nice gravy. I do like it, I do like it. And I'm not really a gravy and chip fan, but I'm gonna dip another chip in. I'm gonna have more gravy and chip because I'm a fan of that. I'm gonna give the gravy a 7. Obviously that's mushy peas, so we'll try the mushy peas. Sort of standard mushy peas, really. I'll give it a 6.5. That's me being honest. Chicken chicken curry, maybe. Ooh. Ooh. Chicken curry. The nearest chicken curry, yeah. That's nice. I like that. That's nice. Is this on the menu? Is it? Chicken curry, strong nine. I'm putting it out there now. Here we go. We're going to try a burger. Standard, normal chicken burger. Mmm. I'm not a big fan of this. Oh, it's been toasted. I'll give it a 7. We've got a spring roll type thing. I'm not really into spring rolls, but we'll give it a go. Bloody hell. That is packed. I'm not a fan of spring rolls, but it's alright. Packed them all then good veggies as well. I'll give it a 6.5. We've got halloumi, I believe. Battered halloumi. Very cheesy, very thick. Not a fan. Give it a 6. We've got a wrap. Don't know what's in the wrap. We'll try. We'll just take a bite and find out, do you know what I mean? Oh, man, I'm getting a sweat on. Still chewing. Nah, the humil humiloom. The halloumi wrap. It's not for me, so I'd give it like a 6.5, but it's not for me. But you might like it. Same. We've got these potato. Are these potatoes, boss? Southern fried, fried potato wedges. Here we go. Mmm. Fire. Fire. Got the same seasoning as the chicken and these are your wedges. Very fluffy inside, I like it. I like the fluffy potato, do you know what I mean? I'll give them a good 7.5. We got some scallop looking thing, but it's probably not. It is a scallop. I give the scallop a seven. We have, what pie is this? I've never had a chicken balti pie. Here we go, you're seeing it first, chicken balti pie. Very chewy. I'm not a fan, because it tastes like my dad's homemade curries he makes. If you like chicken curry in a pie, that's for you. I'll rate it. I'll give it a seven. I'll give it a seven. You might rate it higher. 
I want to try this one now. This is experimental. So you said this is a burger battered with chips and curry sauce. Chips and curry sauce inside. That's hot. I need to let it cool down. It does look good. It does look good. What chip shops offer is stuff like this? Come on now. As you can see inside, we've got chips, the burnt, like the actual bun, and then the curry sauce. You see how it's nicely been made. It's like a cake, but it's not. Look at it. It's a burger, chips curry sauce, battered, battered. I need to add that, it's battered as well. Fucking hell, it's hot, but it does look nice. You know what? You could come here and just order this alone. It would be a meal and it would fill you up. Because you're getting chips, curry sauce, and the burger bun, and it's battered. I give that a 9.5. I can't see anyone else doing this in a chip shop. How much are these going for? You ain't got a price yet. Right, there's no price yet. If you come in and you want to order the burger bun with the chips, the curry sauce battered, you're going to put it on next week? I'll put it on by next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No well, I want to see if anyone comes and orders it. That's what I want to see. These are the battered creamy. I like the battered Mars bar that I had ages ago in that chip shop video, if you've seen that. Oh, it's so nice, it shouldn't be. Do you know what I mean? It's that nice. Fucking hell. It's a 10-10. It's a 10 out of 10. It's a battered. Fucking cream egg. Come on now. Look at it, look at it melted. Look at that. So we've got battered pigs in blankets. So another Christmas dish. But if you want to come in and get it, I'm pretty sure he'll sort you out with it if you want it. It doesn't taste like a battered sausage, which is what you might think. It doesn't. The bacon smoky. Yeah, it's nice and smoky. Smoked bacon. Yeah. 8.5 with the battered pigs in blankets. The bacon smoky. If you like smoked bacon, you're all over it. And it's good that they use smoked bacon, because if they didn't, it'd probably taste like a normal battered sausage. Take a bite. Here we go, standard sausage. Give it a seven. Right, let's try the saveloy. Yeah, it's a nice saveloy. Same as the sausage, I'll give it a seven. <coughs> right, let's try this fish. Here we go. That's good cod. I'll give it an 8.5. That's really good fish. If you're a fish person and you like your cod, 100%. The size of it as well. It's thick. It's not like some some chip shops I've been to, and you see the large fishies. They're very thin. It's thick. Like it's packed. Do you know what I mean? That's good. That is for six quid as well. I'm done now. That is it. That is the video completed. I'm absolutely stuffed. All of them is sat and eat food. Big shout out to Scoffs in Block Switch for basically you know paying for the whole of this video and, and letting me come in and do it. It's me done. You know. I'm, I'm done.